हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड एंड डूइंग वेल सो आई वेलकम यू अगेन इन द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑन टॉपिक परसेंटेज वेर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी क्रूशल फॉर परसेंटेज कैलकुलेशन वन हाउ टू कन्वर्ट फ्रैक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेजेस एंड सेकेंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ परसेंटेज वैल्यू इन टू फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यूज सो दैट्स दी एजेंडा फॉर टूडे लेट स्टार्ट दिस सेशन सो आफ्टर लर्निंग some important fractions and their percentage equivalents it is time to learn something very crucial as far as uh, percentage calculation is concerned that is how to convert fraction into percentages so whatever we have learned in the first lecture we are going to use the same things and i'm going to show you how you can very efficiently very elegantly convert a fraction in terms of percentage for example let me write down a fraction for which you are already aware about the fraction uh, percentage value so if i ask you what is 1 by 4 in terms of percentage you would say sir the way to convert a fraction in terms of percentage is to multiply multiply the fraction by 100 and therefore the percentage value of 1 by 4 is 25% something which we are already aware about isn't it okay uh now what i want you to learn tomorrow someone ask you that what is 3 by 4 what is 3 by 4 in terms of percentage every time multiplying a fraction by 100 is not a good thought is not a good approach instead what you could have done you could have first thought about that what is 1 by 4 in terms of percentage you already know it's 25% something which we have learned in the first lecture so using this if you try to find out the percentage value of 3 by 4 but for that i have to first find out how 3 by 4 is related to 1 by 4 we'll say the 3 by 4 is actually 3 times since it is 3 times the percentage equivalent will also be 3 times of 25 that is 75% so in this manner you can directly calculate the percentage value of fraction 3 by 4 clear uh, not only this i could have i could have converted this fraction in terms of percentage by breaking this fraction by using some mathematical operations what i'm trying to tell you if you look at the numerator value focus on the numerator value the numerator value is 3 it's less than the denominator isn't it if you compare numerator value with respect to denominator you would say sir the numerator value is less than that of denominator right and therefore what i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to think about a factor of 4 now what are factors factors are number which can divide 4 completely so think about a factor of denominator which is very close to numerator value that is think about a factor of 4 which is very close to 3 a number which can divide 4 but it should be close to 3 you would say sir one of the numbers is 2 so can i break this fraction as 2 plus 1 by 4 you would say why not and after further simplifying i can write down the same thing as 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4 now what is 2 by 4 you would say sir it is 1 by 2 and let's keep 1 by 4 as 1 by 4 only now how what you can do here since you already know that 1 by 2 is 50% while 1 by 4 is how much 25% so you can simply add the two values and you would say okay 3 by 4 is same as calculating 75% of the number not only this if i give you a fraction let's say 17 by 16 so just think about a situation where you are trying converting this fraction by using the conventional method in the conventional method what we do we multiply a given fraction by 100 so it will be a calculative task it will be a time consuming task so instead of approaching this calculation in this manner what you could have done you could have thought about this in the similar fashion what fashion think about a multiple of 16 this time why multiple because try to understand if you look at the numerator value this time the numerator value is more than that of denominator and whenever this happens what we do we think about multiples of denominator value so it's quite easy in case of uh, in case when numerator value is small we'll think about factors and if numerator value is bigger we'll think about multiples multiples of denominator so think about a multiple of 16 which is very close to 17 multiples means table of 16 16 ka table 
सो सिक्सटीन का फर्स्ट टेबल फर्स्ट वैल्यू क्या होता है सिक्सटीन इंटू वन द सेकंड वन सेकंड मल्टीपल सिक्सटीन इंटू टू तो द मल्टीपल अ मल्टीपल ऑफ सिक्सटीन विच इज वेरी क्लोज टू सेवनटीन इट सिक्सटीन ओनली सिक्सटीन इंटू वन एंड देन सिंस इट हैज टू बी सेवनटीन आई एड वन टू इट एंड देन आई राइट डाउन सिक्सटीन इन द डिनोमिनेटर एज इट इज आफ्टर फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइंग आई कैन राइट डाउन दिस थिंग एज वन प्लस वन बाय सिक्सटीन नो सी इट्स वेरी इजी कैन यू टेल मी द परसेंटेज वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रैक्शन वन You would say, sir, calculating one time of a number is same as calculating hundred percent of a number. Likewise, calculating one by sixteen of a number is same as calculating six point two five percent of a number, a value which we have discussed in the first lecture, right? And I hope with this you are able to understand the importance why I have discussed those uh, important fractions and their percentage equivalents. because they come in handy whenever we do percentage calculation they become very important right so how would you solve this 106.25% so this is how easily you can convert a fraction value into percentage let me pick one more example just to give you some more confidence okay so i'm using this space uh okay uh if i ask you uh, 7 is what percent of 16 let us try converting 7 is what percent of 16 this time you would say sir if i look at if i look at the numerator value the numerator value is small so the concept is the way is this time i'm going to look for a factor a factor of 16 a number which can divide 16 which is close to 7 that number is 8 a number which can divide 16 completely is 8 and that is also close to 7 as well so i'll break this fraction as 8 this time i have to reduce 8 by 1 because the value in numerator is 7 so 8 minus 1 by 16 and then the same thing can be represented as 1 upon 2 because what is 8 upon 16 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 16 once you do so finding out answer in terms of percentage should be a cake walk 1 by 2 is same as calculating 50% of a number 1 by 16 you already know that 1 by 16 is 6.25% now all you need to do is remove 6.25 from 50 and you'll get your answer so the answer after subtracting 6.3 uh, 6.25 it would be 43.75 right uh, i want to discuss one more important value because this is something which we are going to use very often so why not to discuss this uh um, in in uh, this part only so one important value for which you should know the percentage equivalent is 3 by 8 it's a very important value what is 3 by 8 in terms of percentage let's try doing the same thing uh now uh if you try breaking so since the numerator value is numerator value is smaller than the denominator value so i'll think in which direction i'll th think in the direction of factors a factor of 8 which is very close to uh, 3 that factor is 4 only so 4 minus 1 by 8 or the same thing can be written as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 8 now what is 1 by 2 you would say 50% what is 1 by 8 something which we have learned in the first session 1 by 8 percentage value is 12.5% and therefore the percentage value of fraction 3 by 8 is 37.5% right the fraction value of 3 by 8 is 37.5% but what i want you to notice that if you are aware if you already know remember i have discussed the percentage value of 3 by 4 if 3 by 4 is equivalent to 75% using this can you find out the percentage value of fraction 3 by 8 Let's try finding out. So, if you look at three by eight, three by eight is actually half of three by four. Three by eight is half. So, once you take half of this value, half of this value would give you the answer directly as thirty-seven point five percent. Right. So, I hope you were able to understand how to convert fractions in terms of percentage. You can always break the fractions, and then we can convert those fractions in terms of percentage. That is the elegant way of solving it. the next thing which uh, i'm going to discuss in this lecture is how to convert a percentage value in terms of fraction so let's start with a simple value let's talk about 25% so 
so conventionally what we do in order to convert a fractional value in terms of percentage what we do we remove the percentage sign and as i remove the percentage sign i'm going to write 100 in the denominator so if you remove the percentage sign you need to write 100 in the denominator that is the conventional way of uh, converting a percentage value into fraction once you solve this it will be equals to 1 by 4 so 25 percent is same as calculating 1 by 4 of a number so when the numbers are this much easy yeah you can always do so yes you can use the conventional approach but what if i give you a value as 62.5 percent so if you try solving the same thing conventionally you would realize that there is so much calculation that has involved here isn't it so first you have removed the percentage sign and now when you remove the decimal you will get a thousand and then you simplify and eventually you will get the answer but that is not the elegant way that is not the quickest way the elegant way or the simpler way of converting this 62.5 percent in terms of fraction would be same so whatever we have learned in case of fractions converting of fraction in terms of percentage i can apply the same thing in case of percentage as well it's just that now i'll think from the perspective of percentage so think about a percentage value for which you are already aware about the fractional value if i look at 62.5 62.5 is very close to 50 percent yes and no 62.5 is very close to 50 percent how much close you would say sir it is 12.5 percent away it is 12.5 percent away from 50 percent right now it's very easy if i ask you what is the fractional value of 50 percent you would say sir fractional value of 50 percent is 1 by 2 likewise if i ask you what is the fractional value of 12.5 something which we have discussed in the first session the percent the fractional value of 12.5 percent is 1 by 8 now you will simply add yes look at the denominator's value here the denominator value is 8 here it is 2 so let's make the denominator same how can you make it same by converting this 2 to 8 and since you are multiplying denominator by 4 you need to multiply numerator by 4 as well so this would be 4 plus 1 1 into 4 is 4 now so 5 by 8 so what does it mean it means calculating 62.5 percent of a number is same as calculating 5 by 8 of the value simple and any given day i'll i would like to calculate 5 by 8 of that value because this would be an easy task for me okay let me give you some more examples uh if i pick one more value for example 83.33 percent this time you would say sir 83.33 percent i'll go with easy values you would say sir this is close to base value 100 percent now for 100 percent i'm aware about the fraction value that is why i'm using 100 percent but this time this 83.33 percent is 16.66 percent approximately these percentage value less isn't it now what is 100 percent 100 percent is one what is 16.66 percent it is one by six and what is one minus one by six you would say sir it is five by six so 83.33 percent is same as calculating five by six of the number let's pick 37.5 percent although i are already aware that 37.5 is uh, same as calculating 3 by 8 but i want to show you how can you convert this thing by using these uh, these approaches uh, so there can be multiple ways huh? there, there can be multiple ways using which i can convert this so uh, one student will say sir can i can i uh, say that this value is close to 25 percent yes and how much close this is 12.5 percent more 37.5 that's 12.5 more than 25 right there is another student who says sir but i think this value is close to 50 percent but the change is going to be would say this time it is 12.5 less 12.5 less than 50 here and what you need to realize that in both the ways i should get same answer what is 25 percent 25 percent is same as calculating 1 by 4 what is the fractional value of 25 percent 1 by 4 what is the fractional value of 12.5 it's 1 by 8 right the sign in between is plus so when you solve it it would be 3 by 8 likewise if i ask you what is 50 percent it is 1 by 2 what is 12.5 percent something which we have just discussed 1 by 8 and when you solve this you should again get 3 by 8 and this is what we are going to get 
the way you are breaking the number it could be different uh, and it will vary from student to student but eventually you will reach to the same same fractional value there is another student who says sir why you are converting 37.5 percent by breaking the fraction by breaking the percentage value what i could have done i could have thought about 37.5 see he would say sir i am already aware about the pers the fractional value of 75% if fractional value of 75% is 3 by 4, if he is aware, he would say, sir, using this, I can directly calculate what is 37.5%. He would say, sir, 37.5% is half of 75. So, to find out the fractional value, I will follow the same relation. I will take half of 3 by 4. What is half of 3 by 4? It is 3 by 8. So, with this, this could be the third approach, right? This could be the third way to convert this percentage value into fraction so with this we have come to an end of this lecture i hope you guys were able to follow it uh, if not please ask your queries in the comment box or else what you can do you can join my telegram group from where you can get updates and important notifications related to new videos also you will find practice material for the ongoing topics from there uh, you can find the link for the same in the description box at last if you have enjoyed the session like share and subscribe Thank you and have a great day.